Welcome back friends. Uh, this is the second session in the organic evolution uh, form four topic. On in the first session we discussed with the introduction to organic evolution. In this session we are continuing with the theories of origin of life. Um count of organic evolution to na angarages gan above the organism or realize na wakanza ku exist on the earth. So in theories of origin of life to Nangalia a living organism will talk about it. Yani, it will talk about organism will come to fruition. I know believers they believe God created human being and all living organisms, but even myself I believe so, and I am teaching this organic organic evolution at the part of the uh, Europeans and how they taught it and, and they told us that this was the origin of life because they conducted researches and different experiments and then the results is what they wrote to us that the origin of life the origin of life now the basic idea of now the basic idea of the origin of life is that one time there was no life at all on earth and now there is a vast range of life forms the question arises as to how and when this life appears according to Scientists wana mimi kwamba kuna muda ambao kulikuwa hakuna kabisa kiumbe. Tunasema so there is no life manake akukua na human being akukua na kiumbe chochote duniani. Lakini sasa hivi kuna viumbe wengi sana duniani. Hasa walitokea wapi? Walitokea wapi? Hao viumbe. Now the number uh, the number of several naturalists and scientists have tried to explain the evolution and origin of life in this planet. Kwa baadhi ya uh, watu wamejaribu kuelezea evolution na origin of life katika planet ya earth now the explanation given is in the form of theories which include the following now we have we have many theories explaining about the origin of life i think it's about five to seven theories explaining about the origin of life now the first theory which is uh, to me it's the first the only theory which is true because i don't believe other theories which they have been suggested with it scientists Uh, I, I, I am just only believing this, uh, which is called special creation theory. Uh, according to special creation theory, uh, we are saying that uh, life was created by God, or supernatural power, either at once or gradually at a particular time. Uh, according to the uh, biblical books, such as, I mean, according to the, uh, according to the holy books, like the Bible and the Quran, uh, in the Bible we are believing God created the earth in the in seven days. Uh, in the sixth day he created the earth and uh, in the seventh day he rested that is according to the book of genesis uh, if you read the book of genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2 you you will see these scriptures uh, i don't know about quran because i'm not a, a muslim but i think you may you may just go on and review it so life can arise from non living matter provided that there is god's will uh ni kwamba maisha au kiumbe kinaweza kikatoka hata kwenye kitu ambacho ni mfu kitu kilichokufa kama Mungu akaamua God's will Mungu akaamua so once an organism or species have been created it remains fixed it never changes according to special creation theory it remains fixed it never changes it is supported by most world's major religions uh is spatulated in the holy books like bible and the quran So these are the postures of the uh, special creation theory. Also, uh, the strength of the theory, the strength of the special creation theory, it opened up the way to argue on the origin of life on earth and the uh, nature nature of life itself. The theory has shown the origin of life supernatural being, the almighty God, yani Mwenyezi Mungu. So, hii theory bwana, hii theory kikweli Uh, ni theory ambayo hata kama wame 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 wamewekea weakness au wameiponda kwa sababu ya kutokuwa na scientific proof lakini to me it's the most correct theory and it it is supported by the by by, by the holy books which i believe them so that's why i am saying that to me it's the most correct theory uh, kwenye weakness weakness ni kwamba it is not scientific since it cannot be subjected to experimental proof na haina shida yote kwa mimi kwa sababu najua 
Mungu sio kumfanyia experiment so even if you can't subject it to experimental proof no no any problem and then the second weakness ni kwamba life cannot arise from non living matter uh, according to speciation theory uh, it is believed that the life can 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 arise from non living matter uh, in the presence of god's will but <laughs> in the weakness what walifanya vitu vinaitwa law of biogenesis in the law of biogenesis you wana mean kwamba uh, all all cell they they uh, derived from from the pre-existing cell by the process of of cell division so that's why they are believing that life cannot exist from the uh, from the non-living matter and the third weakness it is not true that species once created it remain fixed the species always changes uh, through time from simple to complex a uh, challenge from paleontology so paleontology uh, just speaks of how species they they, they 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 change from simple to complex as time goes therefore it does not explain how organisms change from simple to complex species never remain unchanged from time to time uh this these are the weaknesses but i told you that this is the most correct uh, theory of the origin of life and is the one which i believe so these challenges they are just brought by scientists but god and the almighty god believes this theory and it is the truth which lives uh next is the spontaneous generation theory spontaneous generation uh kwenye theory ni kwamba according to the theory the theory states that life arose from non living matter on numerous occasions non living matter on numerous occasions koni kama vile non living matter zilikuwa muda mrefu zikatengeneza nini organism now hiyo ni kwa sababu mwaka 1988 the theory was disproved by Francisco Redi ah uh, huyu jamaa yeye alifanya experiment moja through a series of of experiment in which they he pointed out he, uh, that the white worms in the decaying ma, in the decaying meat where the house fly lava sasa Francisco Redi uh, ali, alichemsha nyama alichemsha supu alivyochemsha supu aka akaifunika moja kati ya supu akaifunika nyingine akaiacha wazi sasa huyu Francisco Redi alitaka afanye kitu kimoja kwamba je ile supu iliyofunikwa ile itatoa itatoa magots kwa sababu kama ikitoa magots ile supu iliyofunikwa maana kile nyama iliyochemshwa ime become non living toka hapo non living nyama ambayo non living ime result into living organism sasa alichokuja kuona ni kwamba nyama ambayo haikufunikwa ilitoa magots nyama iliyofunikwa haikutoa chochote ah akagundua i mean nyama ambayo haikufunikwa iliacha wazi itoa magots nyama iliyofunikwa haikutoa chochote agundua okay kumbe nyama iliyokuwa wazi nzi walienda wakataga pale walivotaga magots wakatokea kwa hiyo sio kwamba magots wametokea kwenye nyama no magots ni kutoka na na eggs za housefly na exhaust flies kwa pale wale ni house fly lava so hapo Francisco Redi yeye aka disprove hiyo theory kusema no uh, living organism they can't arise from non living matter pia Redi was later on supported by Lowe's Pasteur through his experiment on sterilization hichi kitu nakita pasteurization uh, kwa level yako ya fomfua mnaja kujua sana lakini pasteurization ni tunatumia heat energy ku kill organism kwa hiyo huyu Lowe's Pasteur ambaye alifanya experiment alifanya experiment ya kuua bacteria sasa pasteurization tunaifanya hata kwenye milk tunavochemsha maziwa pale wao tunafanya milk pasteurization ili kuweza kukuua bacteria walio kwenye milk ambao wanaweza kusababisha uh, magonjwa uh, kwenye strength the theory it possesses challenges it possesses challenges to think more about the origin of, of life Uh, lakini pia it is scientific since it can be experimented and researched however it's long ko ni scientific lakini ya uongo uh, tatu not everything comes into being from matter for example in the plant life develops from seeds and spores kwa hiyo uh, hiyo ni strength kwamba sio kila kitu kinatokea kwenye mating mating yani ni kuingiliana au kujamiana sio kila kitu kinatokea kwenye mating Uh, ba, 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 baadhi ya, ya new living organism they can evolve even even if it's not from mating 
Uh, lakini pia strength ya nne it attempts it attempts to the origin of life that life originated from non living matter however this is not is not true it attempts to kwa hiyo ni kama tu ilikuwa inajaribu kuelezea lakini actually it's not true now in the session of weakness tunasema kwamba first it is not true that life arose spontaneously from non living matter life must arise from pre existing form of life this is according to the concept of biogenesis kwa life lazima itoke kwenye pre existing life kulingana biogenesis Again here with the spread of Christianity the spontaneous generation theory failed from fever except among those who believe in the magic and devil or worship kwa hiyo uh, ni kwamba spontaneous generation theory ilikuwa ni kama vile uchawi fulani hivi sasa ilivyo kwa kama uchawi Christianity ilivyokuwa inazidi kusambaa yani Ukristo spontaneous generation theory ikakosa soko Uh, now let's see on the steady state theory steady state theory uh when steady state theory and some gamba uh, the theory states that life had no origin life had no origin kwamba maisha hayana origin yalikuepo tu dunia ilikuepo toka milele eh, kama mungu alikuepo toka milele seli zilikuepo toka milele this theory assesses that the earth and species had no origin only the earth has also always been able to support life or species manaki earth has always been able to support life dunia ilikuepo na ilikuwa na support species waishi according to this theory species have no origin and they never change and if there is any change is very little they always existed and the only alternative are for their number to vary or become extinct so you see the human species oh species walikuwa hawana origin ila sasa yani kilichopo ni kwamba namba yao tu inavali au wanapotea lakini origin yake no they has, they, has, they had been there walikuepo the theory does not accept the paleontology paleontological evidence paleontological evidence zinaweza zinaamini kwamba species hawakuepo uh, paleontology tunataka kuona kwa mbele kuhusu paleontological evidence uh, that the presence or absence of fossils I indicate the origin as extinct of species they represent it thus points out that it is by studying the present living species and compare them with fossil records uh extinction may be assumed but the assumption may be incorrect yani ukiangalia living organism walioko sasa ukaangalia na fossils hizo kwa zamani tunaweza tukaassume extinction lakini sio nyakati zote ni ya ukweli this is according to according to steady state theory when the strength kwanza tunasema it is true life is supported in earth the theory appreciate the existence of species on earth and the earth itself ah uh, pili it is true that fossil records can can tell the origin of species na tatu it is true that not all the time that the assumption of the paleontology studies will be correct these are the strength of the steady state theory So let me end up here in the next session I will be discussing about the about the weakness of the state, state theory and we will continue with the other theories of the organic evolution subscribe to the channel share the link to your fellow students and don't forget to click the link in the description below or to join my telegram group for more discussions and also don't forget to to click the link below on the website to view the notes for this topic thank you everybody I really wish you nice studies.